Alright guys, come on, so go back to Liverpool Current Mode, episode 6 on FIFA 14. And on Friday, England are playing Montenegro, which means there's no Premier League football this weekend. Ah, you motherfucker! Yeah, I'm still gutted to be honest, I just cannot stand international football. I've said it about 600 million times, but I'm glad most of you legends agree with me, international football is just so shit. It doesn't compare to Premier League football at all, does it? Let's be honest, it doesn't is shit. Right, let's see what our scouts have found. Whoa, this guy looks like Jay Spoon with hair. Whoa, what the fuck, this guy looks like Valencia from Man United. Whoa, look at this guy's face. He must have seen Sam Allardyce naked in the showers or something. Look at his face. Right, we got a press conference for the Chelsea game. Let's unnerve Jonathan McKell because he's like the world shittest midfielder ever. Actually, I won't go that far because that belongs to Tom Cleverley, doesn't it? If Stevie fucking G had no legs, he'd still be a better midfielder than Jonathan McKell. Right, we got Chelsea next. Let's kick the shit out of him. We can't lose this match. I can't stand losing to Chelsea or Man United. It's the worst thing that could ever happen. Whoa, fucking hell, look at Hazard's shirt. How tight does he want his shirt? Seriously. If he wears it any tighter, his shirt will look like this. Will this shirt make me look gay? Oh, well, I'm just glad it's his shirt that's tight and not his shorts. Can you imagine if his shorts were tight? His balls would be hanging out and everything. That'd be right fucked up. I don't want to see that on FIFA. Today, Sacco's come out and said that Brendan Rodgers calls him a killer. I normally agree with Brendan Rodgers, but I don't agree with him this time. Sacco's not a killer. He's a brick shit house. But I see why Rodgers calls him a killer, though, because he's seen Sacco. Every time a player runs up to Sacco or tries to get past Sacco, he's like, You the fuck you think you fucking with? King Kong ain't got shit! On me! Wee, Torres is on the bench. <laughs> Where you belong, Torres. I hope he gets subbed on though, so I can snap the shit out of him. Right, let's kick the shit out of Chelsea. Hopefully, Sturridge can score and celebrate in front of the Chelsea fan. Defender didn't do his job. No way, is he on side there? Wee, still missed that, huh? Oh, that's beautiful, Sturridge. Hey, referee, Suarez didn't do right there. Do you want fucking Suarez to bite you? Oh, referee, there's not wrong with that ref. Oh, that's beautiful. Go on, that spaz. Go on, son. I'd love you forever if you score past Chelsea. Go on, that spaz. Shoot, son. Oh, the fucking post. Go on, that spaz. Cross it, son. Go on, Sturridge. Oh, the bad. Cross it, Lucas. Go on, Sturridge. Yeah, oh, I thought I was in there. Oh, that was a right fucking boring game. That's typical Chelsea. That they play defensive like that in real life. So EA have got them right this time. Liverpool beat Crystal Palace 3-1 on Saturday. And we absolutely kicked the shit out of them in the first half. But the second half, we were shit. It's like somebody pisses in their half-time drink or something. Literally, I'm even joking. Someone must be pissing in their drinks. I don't think Rodgers knows what's wrong with us either. That's why in the second half, Rodgers is always like this. What the fuck? I mean, what the hell going on here? Right, the transfer window's up and it's time to buy some players. And the first thing I'm going to try and do is bring back Torres. Because some of you legends asked for it and that's what I'm going to do. And I think I was going to do that anyway, even if you legends didn't ask. And if he says no, it's bullshit. If Rodgers asked Torres to come back in January, Torres would be like, when's the next fucking plane? I'm coming now. And like, literally, he would come back. I know for a fact he'd come back. But in real life, we'd never bring back Torres anyway because he's too old. And we've got Daniel Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge. What the fuck, Fernando Torres is in excellent form this moment and he's one of the best in his position. How oh, is he the best in his position? Yeah, right. Fuck off. Well, that's all I'm fucking paying for him. I'm not paying any more than that for him. Fuck that. Real Madrid target Suarez and Lewandowski to bolster attack. How many fucking strikers do Real Madrid want? They want everybody Real Madrid. I saw a lot of you legends saying bring back Chabi Alonso and I was going to do that anyway because look at that beard. He's just a beautiful man. I mean, I'm not gay, but you have to admit, he's a beautiful man, isn't he? He is. He's just, his face is just too legendary. Approach to sign on contract expiry. Now, I want Chabby to come home now. I can't wait any longer. Come home, Chabby. Whoa, do you only want 1.5 million to 2.9 million? What a fucking bargain. Let's bring him home. Chabby Alonso, I fucking love you, Alonso. Whoa, 40 million? I even got half of 40 million, so how am I going to fucking sound matter? That's bullshit. Chelsea won't rid of him for 25 million in real life. Fuck off. Oh, you can't sound matter then. So many of your legends told me to get Paul Pogba, so that's what I'm going to try and do. But I don't know if it would be realistic, though, to be honest. Since he used to play for Man United, do you think he would sign for Liverpool? I'm not so sure. We don't know enough about this player to suggest how much to offer. Let's inquire about him first. Whoa, is this guy Pogba? This must be his brother or something. Look at him. Looks like he's been 10 rounds on Mike Tyson, doesn't he? 
Actually, looks like he fucking hit Mike Tyson. Never mind. I had a fight with him. Loads of you legends told me to get Backley as well, but I don't know now about him either, so I have to inquire about him. I think I'm going to go after Pastore as well, because this is a realistic signing, because apparently we're interested in signing him in January. Let's put a cheeky 6 million bidding for him. I'm going to try and re-sign in Shua. He used to play for Liverpool. I still don't know why the fuck we sold him. He's a fucking great left back. Oh, we don't know fuck all about him, so we have to inquire about him as well. Christian Teller is another player Liverpool are interested in real life, so I'll inquire about him as well. Shakir is another player that Liverpool have been interested in real life. And it's a shame he's a bench warmer at Bayern Munich because he's a top player, he really is. And it just shows you how good Bayern Munich are because he can't even get in the fucking team. That's how good they are. So I'm going to inquire about him as well. I'm also going to try and sign Control because we need no left back because I'm sick of Enrique, aka Forrest Gump. And if Real Madrid come in for Suarez at the end of the season or even in January, Liverpool should ask for Control to be included in the deal because he's a miles better left back than Enrique, seriously. 10 million for Control, that's a fucking bargain, I'll pay that. While well, they try and get the Milky Barkin, I mean, Will Hughes, that's his name, yeah, Will Hughes. Some people say he's the next Gerard, but I don't fucking know, I've never watched him. But I'm going to try and sign him because in real life we're trying to sign him in January, apparently. Right, Drax Levin, heard a lot about this guy. Some of your legends told me to buy him as well, so I'm going to inquire about him because I don't know nothing about him. We're going to inquire about the Chiglio as well because a lot of you legends are going about him a lot as well, so I'm going to try and sign him and maybe put him at left back. Right, we've got all sitting next to destroy him. One of the biggest shocks of last weekend is... Man, you actually won. All you legends thought I was going to talk about the Spurs game then, didn't you? With the biggest shock. But now I'm only joking. The biggest shock of the weekend. But what I will say is Man, you definitely didn't deserve to win that. I think Sullivan deserved to win it. There was only one player for Man United that was actually trying. And it was that kid, Janazuru, however you, however you fucking say his name. Now I'm only joking. I think his name's Janazai, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. But to be honest, Janazai, that sounds better, to be honest. But yeah, it looked like he was the only one trying, to be honest, for Man United. Van Persie looks like he doesn't give a shit. He had quite a few chances and he missed them all and which is unlike Van Persie but this Janazai looks a good player he really does oh what a ball go on Aspaz go on son fight for it fucking headbutt him oh that's beautiful Aspaz go on Aspaz shoot Aspaz oh go on Aspaz shoot son oh that volley was fuck whoa what the fuck are they doing they was kicking each of them the whole city players cross it Johnson Go on, Suarez. Yes, Luis Suarez. Whoa, he just went for the fucking boards again. I don't know if you legends can tell, but for some reason this game's got no sound. Like, the sound's literally just cut out. It's just so fucked up. This game is so broken. At first I thought it crashed, but it, but it kept on going. Oh, now it's crashed. <laughs> it's literally crashed now. Yeah, it's crashed. For fuck's sake, FIFA, fix your fucking game here, it's so shit. Right, we're going to have to play this match again, since EA can't make a game properly, so we're going to have to fucking play it again. Yeah, so I might as well talk about the Spurs game. I seriously can't believe Spurs got beat 3-0 by West Ham. Sam Halladice, you legend. Treat yourself to a few pies, Sam, you fucking legend. you got to love Sam Halladice. He bars all those shit players, and he beats Spurs 3-0. you just got to love Sam Halladice, and you? But I have to admit, when I hear that West Ham beat Spurs 3-0, I was just like... No. What just happened? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Spurs to get beat that much by a shit team like West Ham. I mean, there's some West Ham supporting legend that even admit that they didn't think they'd beat Spurs. I know for a fact all of you Arsenal supporting legends will be happy with that result because it wasn't just Spurs that dropped points. It was Arsenal as well, they drew with West Brom. So yeah, it was a great weekend for Liverpool, it really was. Go on, Johnson. Oh, fuck off. Johnson would score that. Oh, shit. No way. Go on, I can get you in on it, son. Go on. Oh, yes, if he'd save that. Hey, referee's ripping the shit out of me, yeah? What are you doing about this ref? Fucking send him off, referee. Oh, yellow card. He's literally shoving his fist up my ass there. Look at that, ref. Go on, so Yes, I don't even know, Scott. Oh, Suarez, yes. Suarez. Whoa, fucking hell, Stooge is mad with him. I think he's pinning him down then. Cross it, Johnson. Go on, Suarez. Yes, Luis Suarez again. Let's slide out the manager. Hey, Steve Bruce. Whoa, what the fuck's he doing? What the fuck? He's having a fucking stroke there. Some, I don't know what he's doing. He's having a fit. I don't know, but what a goal. Oh, that's a beautiful ball, Gerard. Go on, Sturridge. Oh, that's beautiful, Sturridge. Shoot, Sturridge. Hey, referee. He just took Sturridge out there. No way, ref. Hey referee, he's touching my armpit, eh? Look at him, he's sexually assaulting me there. Stevie will have this. Go on, Stevie. Go on, Stevie. Go on. Oh, what a goal, Stevie. Fucking G. Hey referee, have this, you cunt. 
Hey, whoa, fucking hell, I don't know what I was doing to him there. Stevie G. Oh, you just gotta love Stephen Gerrard. What a fucking goal that was. Look at this. Let's fucking save this where was in fucking goal. I think it's McGregor. Look at this. This is Stevie G for you. That's one of the best goals I've scored on this career mode. That's fucking amazing. Only Stephen Gerrard can do that. That's the truth. Only Gerrard can score from an angle like that. Go on, Sturridge. Oh, referee. I want Sturridge to get on the score sheet as well. Oh, well, that's a great win, that. Uh. Fucking hell, more crime watch victims again, look. Whoa, who the fuck is this? What the fuck's with his hair? Is he trying to be a clown? All he needs now is the fucking makeup. What, Dortmund wants storage? Fuck off. Right, we got a press conference for the Stoke match. Right, let's unnerve Hoof, because he's another dirty bastard. And I'm going to try and break his legs in this game. Chelsea have accepted the offer. Nice one. Oh, nice. He don't want to pay Raz. That's Torres for you. That's Torres. That's how much he wants to come back. Oh, for fuck's sake, they've rejected the Alonso offer. You pricks. Fine, I'll pay 5 million for him. Oh, they want 12.5 million for contract. You greedy bastards. What the fuck? Is if Alberto would want more wages? Yeah, right. Piss off. Oh, for fuck's sake, we got an offer for Suarez. I don't know if I should let him go because he's been scoring lots of goals for us in real life and I don't know if I want to let him go. We'll just reject it for now. Fuck off, Barcelona. You have to pay us more than that. Yes, we accept our offer for Alonso. Come on, Chabby. He only wants one year. Fuck off, we'll give him two. Because it's Chabby Alonso. Please don't ever retire. Nice, we accept our offer for Pastore. It's about time the money grabs. Oh, he wants more money. He, he would want more money, wouldn't he, the greedy shit? Here's your 70k, you greedy bastard. You better be fucking good. Right, we got stock next. Let's kick the shit out of him. Hopefully, we'll break the legs as well. Especially Shaw Cross and Oof. I hate those cunts. Go on, cross it. Go on, Sturridge. Go on, Gerard. Oh! Go on, Coutinho. Oh, the pass. Hey, referee. Sturridge didn't do that wrong there. He deserves that, Oof. He should be giving Sturridge a medal for doing that to Oof, because Oof's a cunt. Go on, Coutinho, shoot, son. Hey, referee, that's another penalty. Stoke is so dirty. That I should have had, like, 600 penalties. Go on, Sturridge, shoot, son. Oh, off the bar. Are you serious? Look at it. Hey, get Charlie Adams ass. Oh, sure, cross. Get his ass out of the way. I don't want to see that. Go on, Sturridge. Go on. Oh, my. What? You still got it? Whoa. Hey, referee, that's a corner. That's a definite. Are you serious, referee? Go on, Sturridge, shoot, son. Oh, that shot was shit. It's, oh, it's going to be full time now. This has been the scrappiest game in the history of FIFA. They've definitely got Stoke right because they play the shittest football on earth. I have no intention of ever playing for your club given the history between us. Fuck off. Torres wouldn't say that. He'd definitely come back. Fuck off. What a load of shit. Oh, yes, he didn't even want to pay Raz getting contract. Avine. Oh, that's a great picture here because we can totally see his face there. Nice one. That's a fucking great picture. I totally know what it looks like now, even though I can only see half of his fucking face. Yes, Alonso's accepted the contract offer. Get in. Welcome home, Alonso. You legend. We're going to be seeing a lot more of that beard now. Pastore has accepted the contract offer as well. But I'll leave this decision to you, legend. Do you want me to sign Pastore or not? Oh, for fuck's sake, we've got another offer for Sturridge. What, Arsenal? Fuck off, Arsenal. You're not having any of our players. You can fuck off. You can have John Flanagan, though, if you want him. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. But I'm going to leave the episode on Alonso's face, because what a legend. Look at that legendary beard. He's finally come home to Liverpool. Let me just put him in the team. Fuck off, Lucas. It's Chabby Alonso. Has Lucas got a legendary beard like Alonso? No, he ain't. Next to Stevie fucking G. Look at that. Those two in the middle. Oh, what a fucking team. But anyways, hope you all have a great day. And see you later. <laughs>